Adobe's newly released Photoshop Elements 11 comes packed with some powerful changes. One change in particular is the Actions panel. This new Actions panel is very welcome. We've had dedicated Actions capability since version 7, but it was particularly crippled in versions 9 and 10, and it was always a pain to access anyway. Now we have a real Actions panel that works as expected, minus the capability to actually create the Actions. But hey, there are oodles of Actions out in Google Land for free and for sale. In fact, we have several great Actions ready for you to snatch up in our Digital Scrapper Plus member area and in our Digital Scrapper Premier member area. I'll show you at the end of this video where you can download this action as well as where you can find more actions just like it. So let's take a look. To work with actions in Photoshop Elements 11, you have to be in Expert Mode. Then we'll go up into the menu bar and choose Window, Actions. That will open the Actions panel over here on the right. Adobe has included four sets of default actions that come with the program and here I've also loaded four more from my own stash. To load an action such as the one that is included with this video, you'll go up into the flyout menu of the actions panel and choose load actions. You will then need to navigate to the place where you have an action stored on your computer all actions will have this little action icon and will end with a dot ATN. So I'm going to click on this digital scrapper curved photo action and click open. It will automatically be added to the bottom of the actions panel. This little yellow folder icon right here is a folder of actions. All actions are saved into folders. Now if you twirl open and closed this folder, you will see this blue right facing arrow. That is the actual action that you are going to play. If you twirl open the blue arrow, you will see all the steps that the action is going to take when you press play. So let's do that now. I will activate the action that I want to play and then go up here into the top of the actions panel and press the play button. Well designed actions will come with instructions built right into the action itself. So this action here stops for a second to make sure that you're at the correct starting point. It wants you to take a photo and move it onto a scrapbook page. Now if you are already at this place, you can simply press continue. But if you need to go back and find a photo and put it on a larger document, go ahead and press the stop button. You can complete the task such as putting the photo onto a scrapbook page and then you'll just go back up here and press the play button again. And it's just that simple. All of these steps have been automatically played for you. Another great feature is that Adobe has allowed you to delete actions that you don't want. So if you download one from the internet just to check it out and decide you don't like it, you can delete actions within a folder by clicking on the trash icon or you can delete an entire folder of actions. So that's a quick review of the Actions panel in the all-new Photoshop Elements 11. If you would like to download this same action along with the step-by-step -step instructions for this tutorial, go to this URL, digitalscrapper.com slash 113. Then for additional access to more free actions for Photoshop Elements 11, visit our website at digitalscrapper.com slash plus and then click on the goodie box. A login is required, but membership to plus is free and easy to obtain. This has been Jen White with Digital Scrapper.